Ideally, the site surveyor would do the tank footprint set out as per site plans. Establish the tank footprint corner pegs. Confirm set out is square by checking diagonals are equal. At a workable distance, remote from the tank, establish eight permanent reference pegs in line with the tank footprint pegs. Excavate the tank footprint with a 200 mm gap all round or a 700 mm gap for manually compacted side fill. OHS batter as required. Provide invert crossfall, sloping base if planned. Excavation must be at 95% standard compaction. Remove any loose material from excavation walls that may dislodge and fall into and under the liner during installation. The tank base is placed directly on the excavation base, which includes a 15mm to 30mm skin of screened bedding sand or fine screenings to provide a flat, debris-free surface to build on. It's important to achieve a flat base as per specification. An uneven base causes gaps between the stacks to be out of true when installed, leaving uneven gaps between them. All OHS procedures are the responsibility of site personnel. Anchoring of ladders must be done only with sandbags, no base pins. Cover the prepared base with the supplied GeoGrid with 150mm joint overlaps. Place lengths of the supplied geofabric with 150mm overlaps in the base and up the sides of the excavation. Secure the pegs or sandbags. Do not peg geofabric to the base. Lower the supplied prefabricated liner into the excavation. Orientate and centralise as required. Secure up the wall by pinning into the excavation side wall to hold in place, 40 millimetres from the liner edge. Cover the liner with lengths of geofabric as required with 150 millimetre overlaps. Build one perimeter length and one perimeter width of rain store 3 to plan tank height and wall width accurately in line with the reference pegs. Ensure that the rain store 3 wall stacks are all firmly against one another. Recheck for square at this point. Please note that there are inbuilt locators for various size pre cut columns in the center and corners of the advantage modules. The first column to be installed is the 100mm column at the inner corner of the wall stacks. Start placing the base Rainstore 3 Advantage modules from the inside corner of the Rainstore 3 wall. Place the 100mm corner column against the inside corner of the Rainstore 3 wall using the appropriate corner locator of the Advantage module. Place the 160mm support pipes on the base advantage module corners against the Rainstore 3 perimeter wall. They can be secured to the Rainstore 3 wall by cable ties for ease of installation. Place the 250mm diameter pipes in the centre and the corners of the first advantage module. Place the roof modules on the support columns, fitting the supplied construction clips as you go. Repeat steps erecting columns on base modules and placing roof modules on the columns throughout the tank. Prior to fitting the last advantage roof module in each row, place the adjacent Rainstore 3 wall stack with the next 160mm support column. Complete building the tank structure in the excavation. Cover the complete tank with cut lengths of geofabric with 150mm overlaps. The vertical plastic pipe access inspection shaft is located by plan in the Rainstore 3 wall. Pull the liner sidewall upwards in order to mark the planned pipe penetration diameter in preparation for insertion. 
cut out appropriately located pipe penetrations in both liner and fabric. Rebate Rainstore 3 wall modules to accommodate and support the penetrating pipe circumference. Force pipe stub through the prepared hole in the liner wall with inner face of pipe stub just protruding inside the liner once it's drawn up to Rainstore 3 wall face. Seal the tank liner to the penetration stub by either marine grade stainless steel worm drive clamp or extrusion welding. Draw up each full length of wall liner along and over the top of the Rainstore 3 sidewall and secure to the top Rainstore 3 wall module by heat weld tacks or cable ties along the edge of the liner. Pull the resultant corner pig ear flaps along the outer Rainstore 3 wall. Fold flat and secure temporarily by Leister tack welding or with a cable tie to the Rainstore 3. This ensures that the side liner stays in place ready for welding to the cover liner. Place the supplied liner cover sheet over the secured liner and seal with heat welding. Secure along the edge of the supplied cover liner on top of the Rainstore 3 tank. The cover liner is supplied oversize and will need custom trimming to fit. Unpin external fabric from the excavation walls and draw up over the tank, maintaining 150mm overlaps. Cover the entire sealed structure with supplied geofabric. Ensure all pins are covered and removed to a safe location away from the vicinity of the tank. Backfill around the tank sides with stabilised sand or 5mm screenings up to 1.5 metres from the base. Backfill in 300mm layers right around the tank so as not to shift the tank sideways during backfill, especially with small tanks. When side backfill is level with the top of the tank and stable, place the first of three layers of GeoGrid with 200mm overlaps on the construction tank extending 500 millimetres past the tank footprint all round. Place the first of three 150 millimetre layers of 20 millimetre class two fine crushed rock compacted to 95% standard compaction. Each 150 millimetre crushed rock layer is covered by the next layer of GeoGrid. Compact each layer to 95% standard compaction with hand operated wacker plate compaction equipment. Please note, slightly moist, wet mix material is necessary to achieve adequate compaction. Fill to final surface level with compacted selected soil or specified material compacted to 95% standard compaction. For any questions on the installation process of Rainstore 3 Advantage or for further information on any invisible structures stormwater harvesting storage or erosion control products, please contact Invisible Structures on 03 5263 2024 or via our website at www.invisiblestructures.com.au.